trust your first impression? What do you envision? I always go to a meadow. Let's go there then. Let's go to that meadow and describe to me what that meadow looks like. Mm-hmm. Tall green grass. Mm-hmm. Beautiful wildflowers just everywhere. Surrounded in oh, an abundance of beautiful trees blowing just softly. Mm-hmm. Can you feel the breeze in this place? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Feels good. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what's in this meadow today. Every time you go anywhere, there's always someone accompanying you. There's always somebody there watching, taking care of you, guiding you. Let's find out who has accompanied you today. This guide of yours can show up in any way or form. And I'd like for you to look around this meadow and see this form materialize. Spirit form? Mm-hmm. Spirit form. Tell me more. I think it's a gentle old man. Mm-hmm. Describe this gentle old man for me. What does he look like? Oh, he's so kind. Okay. Speak louder so I can hear you. He's so kind and loving. Mm-hmm. Just gentle. Where is he? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. He's all around. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Describe what he looks like to you in your mind's eye. Um tan. Oh my God! Mm-hmm. I just got Larry. Mm-hmm. Can that be? Let's find out. Larry, are you able to talk to Mary Louise today? He's always available. Mm-hmm. What would you like to tell her today? He's so sorry we didn't have more time to get to. Mm-hmm. So let's find out from Larry, what was your contract together? Uh, show me. Mm-hmm. Show me what a real loving relationship looks like. Mm-hmm. What else? He was a real man. I knew when he said something, it was fact. Mm -hmm. What else do you have to tell her today? She's on the right path. Mm -hmm. Larry, did you go to the light when you left here? Did you go back home, or are you still here, on this plane? Okay. Have you gone back home, Larry? I think so. Mm-hmm. So from that perspective, you can see things from a different way. Can you tell Mary Louise what's going on with her? What's keeping her from being successful? Carry around too much old baggage. Mm. What does this old baggage look like to you from the spiritual realm? Oh, heavy. Heavy. Does it have a color? Dark. Dark. Mm-hmm. Larry, take a look and see where all this old baggage is attached to on her. Where is it attached? Where is she carrying it? Like luggage. 
Mm, like luggage? On her back. On her back. Okay. How stuck is this luggage on her back? Is it like a backpack that she's carrying? Okay. Mm -hmm. And she's carrying it in both of her, both of her hands. Big, mm -hmm. big luggage. Mm-hmm. Carpet bags full of yuck. Uh -huh. Does she need to have these carpet no. bags anymore? No. Not them down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Larry, would you mind that I call in some of my archangels to help today? Mm-hmm. Very good. So I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to step forward. Tell me when he's present. He's here. Very good. So I'd like for Archangel Michael to begin using his sapphire blue sword to begin cutting away at these very heavy loads that she has. So I'd like for him to begin working and tell me which one he's working on. Backpack. What is it? Backpack. The backpack. All right. So tell me what he's doing as he does it. Oh, God, he's cutting it. Mm-hmm. Wow, oh, it's just so, so stuck. So stuck. Describe to me what it looks like as he does it. Not one to come off very easily. Mm -hmm. It's just been there forever. Mm -hmm. But it's it's coming. Mm -hmm. So describe to me what it looks like as he cuts away with his this blue sapphire blue sword. It's about got it all gone. Mm -hmm. Now, once it, it's, it's out of her bag, we don't want her picking that bag up anymore. So I'd like for him to go ahead, once he takes it off her back, to spear that backpack and let's just dissolve it. We don't need that anymore. It's in the past and belongs in the past. So tell me everything that he's doing. It's, it's melting. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm-hmm. Package. So how does that feel? Oh my god. Oh, I feel like half of me's not here anymore. Mm-hmm. Very good. So I'd like Archangel Raphael to step forward, please. And I'd like for him to use his beautiful green light to go ahead and begin sealing those areas that were carrying that load. Oh my god. Describe to me where he's sealing. Oh. My back. Mm -hmm. Tell me what he's doing. It's kind of like a mini fire hose. Mm -hmm. An emerald green light. Yes. It's just kind of like he's spray painting. Mm -hmm. Nice. Wonderful. Tell me everything as he does it. He wanted to do my hands too. Mm -hmm. So. Pretty much encapsulated with that emerald green. Beautiful. So I'd like now to speak with Larry. Larry, how does it look like now from the spiritual realm? Mmm, beautiful. Mm-hmm. So as you look at her soul, do you see any other areas that need attention today? Or was that the heaviest load she was carrying? Her head. Okay. What's going on in her head, Larry? She's got a lot of old negativities stuck mm. in there. Mm-hmm. Are these old negativities something that are thought forms that are affecting her? 
Okay. So would you allow me to connect with these thought forms today? And let's find out what's going on. Very good. So I'd like for you to take a deep breath in. I'm going to count from three to one. And when I get to number one, we'll speak with the one that is affecting you the most today. Three, two, and one. Good morning. Can I ask to speak with the one that's affecting Mary Louise the most? Can I call you by a name? You can use a description of what it is that you do to her as a name. Negativity. Negativity. So negativity, what is it that ca caused you to be formed or created you? She was too happy. Mm. When was she too happy? On her business day. Mm hmm So what happened there? She saw everything through light. Mm-hmm. Kept telling her to take those rose-colored glasses off. Mm-hmm. And why did you tell her that? Because she was so happy. She was so happy. And what is it that makes you so negative? Mm, I don't like Mm-hmm. Were you created by her or did she attract you to her? Did you ever have a human body? No. So she created you to do what? What did she need you for? Balance? Mm-hmm. She was too successful? Did she need to see the contrast? What did she need negativity for? Others. Others. Can you explain what that means? Others didn't like her being so successful. Mm. Others didn't like her being so successful. Did those others send negativity towards her? Mm-hmm. So she didn't create you. You were sent. All right, so let's find out who sent you. I'd like for you now to look at her body and see there's a cord that you're attached to. Tell me where that cord is, where you came from. Where is it? Let's follow that cord and find out who's on the other end. Do you see? Who sent you negativity? So now, negativity, we can see that they sent you for a purpose. What have you been doing to her all this time? How has their intention towards her made a difference in her life? wasn't worthy of being so happy. Mm-hmm. She wasn't worthy. What else? Nobody deserves 
deserves to be that happy. Mm-hmm. What else? What are all the things that they shot at her to create you? Well, when someone shoots a thought, they have an intention behind it. What are the other thoughts that they were shooting at Mary Louise? You said she wasn't worthy of being so happy and nobody deserves to be that happy. What else were they shooting at her that created this? They're flying too high. Flying too high. Mm hmm. So what, with all of these intentions that were shot at her, what has this done to her? Mm. Burst her bubble. Mm -hmm. What does she believe now? What have you made her believe? She's not worthy. Not worthy. Mm -hmm. What else? deserves to be that happy. Mm -hmm. Is she believing it? Yes. You've done a really great job, haven't you? You've succeeded in the purpose that was sent to you. But you see, Mary Louise came here to succeed. And she has her own will, free will. But we can't get rid of you because you've been with her for so long, haven't you? What we can do is transform you. What would you imagine would be the best thing that you can do to transform into to help Mary Louise now that you are residing with her? I suppose turn into the light. Mm -hmm. And what would the light do for her? How can that change her? Oh my God. It might propel her. Mm hmm What color would this light be? Mm hmm What would be the most powerful one that would transform anything dark in her life? Tantanite. Beautiful. So let's begin the transformation now. Take a deep breath in and let's begin transforming all of that negativity into this beautiful light, powerful light that will be able to do good for her, where she could be able to see her worth, fly high, know why she's meant to be here, and using that power that she came here with to not only help herself, but help everyone who comes in contact with her. And so that she can use this light to project unto others, no matter where they are in the world. Through her voice, through her word, through just her being here. Allow her to transform now. Tell me how that feels as this transformation begins. I can go higher. Mm -hmm. Let's go even higher. Expand that light out. Feel it projecting out of you, getting brighter and brighter, higher and higher. There's no limits. There are no limits. So as you transform, <coughs> see that light going out through all of those cords that brought that negativity. See it magnifying it thousands of times projecting out this light affecting all of those on the other end. See how that light transforms them in their own way according to their own free will. See it as it projects out. 
going deep into their heart. Envision the whole world surrounded by this light. See this light transforming these souls. See it seeping into Gaia. Above and below. Using your breath to propel it even further. And as this light propels even further, I'd like for you now to see how it's affecting those beings that have been with you all along, those who have been helping you. I'd like for you now to connect with those beings. See as they materialize and tell me who they are. Again, what beings am I connecting to? The ones who have been helping you. Helping me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who do you see? Saint Germain. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what Saint Germain has to say today. Connect with him now. His thoughts, his words and thoughts will be yours. So allow him to speak through you and tell you his message. I'm your guardian angel. I've been with you always. Saint Germain, what words of wisdom would you like to give her today? She's come here with many questions. She wants answers. Will you be conducting the session or will her higher self be conducting the session? I will. Very good. Very good. If you could speak louder for me, please. She has many questions she'd like to ask and the first one of course is what is her purpose in this lifetime she has questions about that why did she come here to planet earth to be love and light mm -hmm. to let her light shine mm -hmm. it was shining for a while wasn't it what happened what dark in this light negativity overcame her mm -hmm. how do you see her now mm -hmm. glowing mm -hmm. is she a lighthouse again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so she says that it hasn't been fulfilled yet has it what she's supposed to be doing here or is she on the right path just shining her light just shining her light. Does she need to be doing anything in particular? She will. She will. Mm -hmm. Now she was very successful at many businesses before and she was even starting some now but they've all kind of fallen apart. So what kind of work, what kind of things should she be doing? Should she be writing? Speaking? What? Speaking. Mm -hmm. Now while she speaks, is she going to be able to make a living out of it? Mm hmm Because she says she's become very stagnant in the last 20 years. Why is that? That negativity mm -hmm. engulfed her. Engulfed her.
Does she need to be thinking about that anymore? No. 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 She's gotten rid of her baggage. Melted away. Melted away. And now she is shining bright. So when she speaks, who's going to be speaking through her? Who's going to be helping her? I and many others. Mm -hmm. Who are the others that are working with her? Elizabeth Clare Prophet. Mm -hmm. What does she help her with? Well, she's taught her the emerald green healing. Mm -hmm. So is she going to be teaching and speaking about this healing? Or about many things? Mm, believing. Mm -hmm. Love. Mm -hmm. Is there any way that she can prepare for this? Or is this something that's going to come natural to her? On doing what she's doing. Keep doing. Mm -hmm. What about her books? She wrote a book. It didn't go very far. It she wasn't said, the right time. It wasn't the right time. Will that book gain some momentum later? Mm. Revamp it. Okay. So go back and make some changes to it. All right. And will she be doing writing about her story? If she wants to. Okay, good. And who's going to help her with her life story? One. Her counsel. Her counsel. Very good. Very good. Now we noticed today that she didn't go to a, a life, a past life. She's been going to many, many uh, hypnosis sessions before. Why today did she not go to a past life right away? She believes she needed to heal this one mm -hmm. and then go. And then go. Because she had a question about the life of Jesus. She was shown that past life that she was a confidant to him. She couldn't see if she was male or female. And she wants to know if it's important for her to know more. Does she need to see that life today? Would you like to show her a picture of it so that she can see She's it? She's seeing today? a picture right now. Okay, so what is the picture showing? Mm. Oh, it was one of the masters teaching him. Mm -hmm. As a child or as an older? About 14. Mm -hmm. What was your name in that lifetime? your impression can you can you see it perhaps written I'm in trouble getting that mm -hmm. it doesn't matter then it's not important let's find out what you were teaching him
lessons. The hardships. Mm -hmm. What were you teaching him? What were you telling he him? He can overcome them. Mm -hmm. So were you skilled at overcoming hardships? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well... Tell me more. So I want to know is this spirit guides spirit is in me now mm -hmm. so I'd like for you to be able to tap into that knowledge of this master yes spirit mm -hmm. let's connect with that archive of information from this master so that you can understand now why all of these hardships have occurred I want you to see them tap into all of that knowledge everything that you taught Jesus see it unfold in front of you your life as Mary Louise and see what the lessons were. I can overcome everything by raising my energy, mm -hmm. raising my vibration, and lifting myself out. And if I keep my vibration high, I won't, I won't experience Mm -hmm. difficulties so even if you are faced with challenges in your life no matter how difficult such as the one that Jesus faced what advice as this master would you like to give Mary Louise this aspect of you we're always with you you're never alone reach up Believe. No. No. It's real important to know. There's a difference, isn't there? So go ahead and tap into that field of energy, that field of knowledge, and let's make that yours. Allow that to just become yours. Oh, wow. That knowing. That's amazing. And as this knowledge is revealed, what do you now know? Everything. Everything I've access to. Everything. So let's keep that door open, that knowledge, keep it flowing, allowing it to just flow from your super conscious self. Find the portal within you to access this knowledge at any time, and knowing that when you leave this session today, that door will be open at all times. Knowing how to go through any hardship, any challenge. Knowing how to deal with people that are difficult. Just knowing what the Masters were teaching Jesus. This is your knowing now your ability to access this and teach others as a master did and will do again so
So breathe it into every cell of your body. And tell me when that exchange has been complete. And we can speak again to St. Julian. Thank you for that wonderful gift of knowing. I'm sure that she'll be able to completely change her life with this now. Thank you. So now that she has that knowing within, she wants to know if she should move to Sedona. I lived in Sedona for eight years. I live in Flagstaff now. Mm -hmm. And I want to know Mm-hmm. Is there some place else I need to be? Mm-hmm. Part of me thinks that I'm supposed to be close to Sedona for the City of Light ship and to help people with that. And yet, I'm thinking, am I supposed to be somewhere else? I, like, a calling near the water. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now to dive into that knowing. And let's access that information from the higher self. And I'd like for you to speak as your higher self. You're where you're supposed to be, Mary Louise. You are there for a reason, but you're going to be traveling the world. So, so does she need to move anywhere? We'll show her when it's time. Okay, very good. And she began to fly, doing astral traveling, and then it stopped. Can you tell her more about that? The opening the door to show her the possibilities. Mm -hmm. And she knows that she stopped it by her limitations. Yes. And... Does she need to fly? She wants to. She likes it too. So what was stopping it? Was it this negativity that was infiltrating her? It was fear. So can we remove, we remove that fear from her? And when she travels, is she protected? Oh yes. Who goes with her? We all do. Ah, how big is this entourage of hers? <laughs> it's big. It's like a rock star being surrounded by all her groupies. It's more like the mothership being surrounded <laughs> by the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you describe her as a mothership. What, what abilities does she have that she doesn't know about? She knows that she can heal with her touch. Mm -hmm. It's She hasn't been mm, the right people because a lot of who she's been around off. Mm -hmm. So she'll get her chance, her opportunity to, with her hands. Um, well, she has quite a bit of healing a bit, uh, modalities in her toolkit. Why hasn't she been using all of these skills that she's acquired but, along the way? Is it this negativity that's mm -hmm. been holding her back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you see her doing in the future with this healing? Oh my. She can do what Jesus did. Mm. Heal? The touch? Or is there more? There's more. Okay. Can you tell her what that is? Because there's so much magic. Mm. Magic. Yes. 
has healed. She can She knows what people are thinking. Mm -hmm. She's an empath. How was how does that help her? Um, well, she's very good at discerning truth. Mm -hmm. uh, how does that hurt her? <laughs> <laughs> Closes the door to a lot of things. Uh, she doesn't like messing around with anything that's not real. Mm -hmm. But even those things that are not real, doesn't she need to heal those too? Wouldn't it benefit those others to feel her abilities like Jesus did? He wouldn't turn anybody down. Or do they have to come to her? Mm -hmm. She, that's exactly it. Mm -hmm. She believes that if they're not open open to it and accepting of it, that she doesn't have the right to give them the gifts that mm -hmm. they're not open to. Okay. It's like the, the saying, throwing pearls at the swine? Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Yes. So the people who come to her are the ones who will benefit from it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. Now, she asked about wanting to thrive. <laughs> Can you tell her a little bit about that? She has all the caves, capabilities, and now that this, oh my God, all of those burdens are gone, mm -hmm. melted away. Mm -hmm. That's pretty powerful, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's going to be thriving good. real good. She's going to have to be walking around with more weights that she's flying now so much. She's been carrying around these weights so long, she's going to be like a balloon. Well, she also asked about her friends. She used to be a magnet for friends, and now People don't even see her. How are they going to see her now? Mm, they scare. She scares them. Ah. So are these really her friends? No. And she knows. She discerns that. So. Mm -hmm. So the people who are around her are those the real, the real deal? She knows who her friends are. Okay. So you don't need to be a magnet for friends. You just need to have the right ones around you. Yeah, and it's mm, finding, finding. Finding her tribe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I ask for assistance for that? Yes, please. So I'd like for, uh, on her behalf, to ask for a guide or several guides to help her with getting her tribe together. Those that will resonate with her, who will be the ones who can heal from her, and be able to provide something back. A nice exchange of energy. Perfect. Wonderful. Thank you so much questions about her past. Why does she choose a family that challenged her, proved to her what hardships were in every which way? Why was that? She has scars from this. When she signed up, she didn't have a clue. Mm. Oh. She's so optimistic. <laughs> she thought she got. Oh, sheesh. So she took on all the difficult assignments? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, these people that signed up with her, did they know what the assignment was to? Were they part of the contract? <laughs> Let's find out. Take a look at Dad and see what Dad was supposed to be here doing for her. You know how the Earth's gotten, the world's gotten off track. Mm -hmm. It's gotten too far. Yes. 
Well, that's kind of like what her home was, mm -hmm. home life was. She had contracts, but things got way, way out of hand. Mm -hmm. Was she able to fulfill these contracts? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell me where Dad is now? Is he in the light? years ago, mm -hmm. Ray Louise did a session, and he hadn't gone to the light yet, mm -hmm. so we released him. Mm -hmm. Where is he now? we able to connect with him today? I think he's lost. Mm -hmm. Can we shine that light and see where he is? Let's find him and see where he went to. He may have been released but he may not have found home. Let's shine that light. Let's find him. Use that light as a magnetic pool. So let's bring him in. And tell me if you find him. All right, so I'm going to count from three down to one. I'm going to, when I get to number one, we'll let's speak with Burton. Three, two, and one. Good morning, Burton. How are you? Okay. Burton, are you lost? Yeah. What happened to you after you were released? Where did you go? Dark. The dark. Why did you go there, Burton? Mm. How did it feel to you? Didn't feel good, did it? No. Burton, would you like for me to show you where home is today? All right. Burton, I want you to look inside of you, and there's a little spark of light there. This is the light from the Creator. This is the light that created you. That light is always there. No matter how dark it is, a place that you're in, tell me when you find that light. Now, Burton, I'd like for you to expand that light and make it bigger and bigger until it envelops your entire essence. Tell me how that feels as that light gets bigger and bigger. Oh. How does that feel? Make it bright. Keep fueling it. Make it as big as the sun. Wow. How does that feel? Wow. I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. Now that you have that light expanded, you now have the love of the Creator within you. Wow. Now that you have that love, I'd like for you to look back at your life. And tell me, how do you feel about that life? Oh. Tell your daughter. <sighs> tell her how you feel, looking back at everything you said and did as you view that life. So many mistakes. Tell her everything. I made so many mistakes. Tell her 
how you feel. I'm sorry. So let's find out what your daughter has to say. Mary Louise, what would you like to say back to your dad? Oh, I'm glad he's found the light. Mm -hmm. But tell him what that's done to you all this time. Oh my God. You were carrying all that, weren't you? Mm -hmm. But tell your dad what happened today. It's gone. Mm -hmm. There are no remnants. It's melted. Mm -hmm. It's gone. Can you forgive your dad now knowing that he didn't know what he was doing? That he made mistakes? Can you forgive him for that? Very good. So I'm going to now put my hand on your chest and I want you to go ahead and s pull out all of anything else that's in your DNA, every cell in your body that could remember this in that way. Pull it all out. We don't want any memories left that you can go back into. Just pull it all out. Any memories of your dad in that way. And tell me when I have it all. Pull it all out. That's right. And tell me when it's all out. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, let's take that all out and send it to the universe for healing. And now we want to replace that with something else. We want to replace it with the memory now of your dad in the light. Your dad knowing that he is one with Source. Let's put that in there and feel that new memory of your dad in this new celestial place knowing that as a human he didn't know any better that's all he knew and now he can access that information feel it going in through all of your cells and let's tap that in and see it and now I'd like to speak with Burton take a deep breath in Burton now that your daughter has forgiven you how does that make you feel? Oh, so much lighter. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and tell her how that has affected you. I didn't know how to undo. Mary Louise, I'm glad to be in the light now. Mm -hmm. So Burton, now that you have all of that light within you, I'd like for you to give your daughter the gift that she always wanted. I want you to go ahead and beam that love that's going through you directly from source, from your creator, from God. Beam it right into her heart and allow her to feel that feeling of love that she never felt from you as her father. Magnify it hundreds of times. Have her feel you as the soul that you really are. The child of God. Very good. Mary Louise, do you have anything to say to your dad before he finally goes home? I'm glad he's got the light. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now, I'd like for you, Burton, to look to your side, and Archangel Michael is there. Take his hand, and he's going to send you directly home into the light this time. What would you like to say in closing with, with your daughter? I love you. Very good. Mary Louise, what would you like to tell your dad? Thank you. Tell me when you get there, Burton. Tell me who's waiting for you. Oh, his mom. Mm-hmm. Very good. Burton, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. 
And now let's take a deep breath in. Let me speak with your higher self loud and clear. Thank you very much for that. Now, she's been told by many people that they see a, f a man in her future. Has she closed down to this possibility? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got the door locked. Okay. So, let's find out what's going on in her heart. I'd like for you, Mary Louise, to make yourself really, really tiny and let's go down your mouth and down into your heart and take a look and see what does that heart look like? What's surrounding that heart and what does the heart look like? She has a huge lock. Mm. Bigger than the heart. Really? The heart's full of love, but she's got it all locked up. Okay, so let's find out which caused her to lock that heart. Mm. Let's go back and see what was the final thing that made her lock that heart up. Show her a picture of that moment when she decided that was it. I'm closing my heart. Oh, church. Mm -hmm. Church. Religion. Mm -hmm. And what was religion doing to her heart that she needed it to be kept safe? dominated so by keeping her heart closed what does she benefit what's the benefit of keeping it under lock and key she doesn't have to be under male dominance mm. okay now it seems to me if she looks at male dominance, male dominance is all about pretty much caging her up and closing the door. But isn't it odd that she has caged herself up and locked the door? Does that make any sense whatsoever? She's so afraid of being dominated, but she's closed herself off. What sense does that make? If she doesn't want to be dominated and put in a cage, why has she done this by herself? Isn't she here to fly? Isn't that her purpose in life, to fly free? Let's look at this little birdie in this cage. Is she flying? Or is she hitting her head against the cage? Hmm. So, are we willing to open up that lock, that key that you've had all along in your hand? Are we ready now, Mary Louise, to open up that key? All right, so I'd like for you to see yourself with that key that you had all along. What does that key look like? Is it a big key? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that key was weighing you down, you talk also. So let's see yourself opening up that lock, unlocking it, and let's use purple flame of Saint Germain to melt away that heart now that it's open. Melt away that lock from that heart, melt away anything that allows a lock to be held onto that heart? And tell me, what does that purple flame look like on that heart? Mm. The heart's already opening up. Mm -hmm. So let's keep putting that purple flame in there, melting away any negativity, any fear. See that heart expanding more and more, opening up more and more. 
You tell me what's happening. Mm. <laughs> How does that feel to have an open heart? Mm. Soft. Very good. So now that we have that purple flame having burned away all of that hardness, let's bring in that emerald green light from Raphael and seal it. Seal all those scars and wounds that have, that heart has gone through in her whole life. As that green light goes through that heart, feel it expanding. And now I'd like to ask for Archangel Uriel to begin bringing in that pink light, filling it with love. how it feels now. Soft. Soft. And now that her heart is not locked up, she can send love out into the universe. Just like a lighthouse that she is, as she emits this beautiful light from her heart, she'll be able to see those sailors that are looking for a port, looking for someone to love. And as she beams that light out into the darkness, she will see them coming like moths to light. All those skilled sailors that know how to love, full of all the bounty of love in their life to be able to share with. So use your breath to be able to bring that light out and allow it to come in. Beautiful sensation. So take a deep breath in. Let me speak with your higher self and tell me how does her heart look now? Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. She asked questions about philanthropy. She's had the vision that she's being downloaded with many modalities. She wants to know if she will be traveling the world and teaching healing and waking up people. Mm -hmm. When is this happening? Now. Now. Very good. Thank you. She knows that she is here to help people. You told her she's going to be doing some healing. Anything else that you suggest that she hasn't thought of yet? A little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. Baby steps. More will come. Mm -hmm. More will come. Good. Thank you. Now she was having questions whether hypnosis would be something that she could work on, but she was given the answer in her automatic writing that it's not necessary. Can you tell her why that answer was given to her? Because she reads people. She reads people. So she doesn't need this modality. She can use her own gifts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. And she's told me that recently she's been doing work, but she hasn't been charging for it. Can you tell her if she should be charging for her work? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why has she not been charging? She had that weight on her. Mm -hmm. So now? Didn't have that weight anymore. <laughs> so she can start charging for what she's worth? Good. Very good. And will she be able to see that flow again that she had when she was younger? That's success. Good. Good. Another question that she had was about this clicking noise that she heard. 
in her head. What was that all about? She commanded it to stop. What was happening? continue with the questions now. Thank you very much. Now she was asking about that clicking that she heard. What was going on there? Pineal gland. The pineal gland. What was going on with the pineal gland? Was there an adjustment going on? Mm -hmm. So when people hear clicking in their heads, is that an adjustment that's being done? Okay. So what was being adjusted at that time? Was she receiving information? I wish I knew. Mm -hmm. Let's go deeper and deeper. I'm going to count from five to one. When I get to number one, we'll be connected again. I want you to see yourself going deeper and deeper. Five. Beginning to go down now, like an elevator shaft of hypnosis. Four. Going deeper and deeper. Three. Using your breath to propel you even deeper. Two. Allowing that connection to that source within you. And one. Be there now. Receiving information. Mm -hmm. What information did, was she receiving that she stopped? Because she demanded it to stop. Was she seeing too much? Yeah. She said she had seen those ETs out of her window. Is that some of the stuff that was going on at the time that she was seeing? The clicking was before. The clicking was before. Okay. So when it was she was being downloaded with this information, what was the information that was stopped? Was it beneficial for her? No. Who was downloading it? Wasn't good. It wasn't good. So she knew that they were trying to block her. Okay. Who was blocking her? Was she being controlled? Stopped it. Mm hmm. Now I've heard that there are certain malevolent ET groups that may download information or may block information. Was it the case like this or was it something else? Can you tell her what it was? She knew too much. She knew too much. Mm -hmm. 
So who blocked it? Wasn't benevolent. Mm -hmm. Can you show her a picture of what this group looked like? What do they what do they look like? I can see. Mm -hmm. Do they cloak themselves? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So about downloading this information, does it block our pineal gland? Okay. How can we avoid that? Pay attention. And when this happens, can we feel it in a certain way? How would we know what it feels like? Headache in the center of the head. Ah, okay. So when we feel a headache in the center of the head, it's almost like it's being um, attacked. It's being targeted. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what can we do at that moment to stop it? Because I know we are very powerful. Tell it. Tell it to stop. Mm, go away. Go away. All right. So that would be a remedy to, to all of this. Mm. Okay. Is this the same as a psychic attack? Or would it be different? Similar. Similar. Okay, good. Now, is, this, is she being attacked because she's in that area? Is there something going on in that area that she knows too much? Let's find out what it is that she wasn't supposed to know. was in before I moved to Sedona. Okay. And the flying didn't happen until I moved to Sedona. Mm -hmm. And seeing the ETs didn't happen until I moved to Sedona. Mm-hmm. I... So what was it that Mary Louise knew, was trying to know about? What did she know to raise her Raise her vibration uh, higher. Okay. Good. So they're keeping her low. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because she's so powerful. Mm -hmm. It's really stopping her purpose, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Her purpose of being light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you so much. Now, she has felt very insecure with lack of confidence. Was this all that negativity? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. And that's gone today. Mm -hmm. Good. So what about her health issues? She doesn't spend much time paying attention to doctors, but she does seem that, it just seems like she is pre-diabetic. Her eyes get blurry, she's got issues with teeth, lungs, skin tags, moles, carbuncles, skin patches, etc. Can you tell her what's going on in her body? Let's look at her pancreas. All right, so let's look at it and see what's going on. What's going on in the pancreas? The lack of flow. Mm -hmm. what's, what's blocking it? Can you take a look and see what's blocking it? See if there's an emotion. But she close off that too. Fear. Fear. Mm -hmm. So how is this fear manifesting on that pancreas? What should she? What has she done? Has she blocked it? All right. So let's do the same thing we did before. Let's go down into the pancreas. Make yourself really tiny, tiny, tiny. Let's go down there. Let's see. 
how we have blocked the flow from the pancreas. What does that look like? It's keeping that flow from moving. like a dam. Very good. So we know that when we have a dam, it doesn't flow, does it? Mm -hmm. So what has this little beaver been doing to make this dam? It seems to me that she has been using a lot of these things from her life to build this dam down there. Mm -hmm. So let's see what this little beaver has been doing. She's been very busy blocking up her her pancreas. What are the things, what are these little logs that she's been putting on her pancreas to stop the flow? What are these souvenirs of fears that she's been putting there? Doubt. Doubt, huh? What else has she been putting there? Are all of these little logs that she's been putting there her own or from other people? Let's take a look. Because if you look at how a beaver makes a dam, first it has a gnaw away at, this, at these trees, don't they? And it uses its teeth, very powerful teeth, to bring down these trees and drag them over there. So these trees that she has been dragging over there are trees that she's been gnawing at for many, many years, hasn't she? What do these trees represent? Are they people? Are they emotions? Are they memories? Maybe all of them. All of them. Mm -hmm. So we have today removed the blockages, the burdens that she's been holding go ahead and begin getting rid of that dam. I'd like for Archangel Michael to come again with his sapphire blue sword and let's begin tearing down that dam that this beautiful little beaver has built all along. She doesn't need to use her teeth on these things anymore. So let's go ahead and begin using and tell me what it looks like as Archangel Michael starts working on all of these things that are holding up the flow. How's that dam look now? It's almost gone. Mm -hmm. Describe how it's how he's doing that. It's like the logs flow in the end. Mm -hmm. And as those logs begin to flow, I'd like for them to go ahead and begin dissolving themselves. Okay. Allowing all of her cells in her body to dissolve all of those fears. And they can just flow right out with her natural system that allows all of this to flow out. And tell me, and it's finally flowing. Very good. 
So how does that feel now to have that pancreas flowing again? Very good. So now I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to come in and begin doing his sealing. Seal all of that area with his beautiful emerald green light. Very good. And while he's sealing that, I'd like to ask for St. Germain to use his purple flame to let's get rid of all of those, all of that, those fears, those doubts, those trees that grow around that dam. Let's burn them all out. Let's, as he burns down that area, I'd like for you to go ahead and replace it with a beautiful meadow of flowers. Allow that pancreas to be surrounded instead of these fears and doubts surrounded with beautiful flowers pinks and reds and purples and yellows see them all popping up and tell me when we're done okay. very good so now that you see her pancreas flowing I'd like for you now to look at her entire body from head to toe and see how we can correct all of this stuff that she's been dealing with. Give her step by step of each area of her body and how you're fixing that. Ease and flow. Mm -hmm. Ease and flow. Ease and flow. Mm -hmm. So the eyes, how do they look now? Hmm. More crystal clear. Crystal clear, go ahead. Let's go ahead and begin using that beautiful healing light to heal her eyes. And as you do the eyes, let's take a look at her teeth. She doesn't need to gnaw down any more trees. So what's going on with her teeth? better mm. and the lungs what's going on with the lungs I'm just holding on to too much mm -hmm. so can we release that mm -hmm. now now that she doesn't have to hold on to her life anymore she can breathe mm. Mm -hmm. and then she had questions about her skin her skin is the largest organ of her body. What is her skin trying to tell her? What's inside of her that she's trying to get out? What is that skin pushing out of her? Appreciate her body more. Appreciate her body more. Mm -hmm. So it was her body telling her she's not appreciating it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how can she appreciate her body more? <laughs> Just love it. Mm, Just love it. Okay, very good. So can we begin today with the healing of her skin? that as she appreciates herself more and more, she can begin healing it. Good. And she's been eating a lot, emotionally eating. She seems to have this extra 10 or 15 pounds that she can't let go. Can you tell me what that's all about?
What are they eating? Do you have a final message for her today? Oh, she's free. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Look it up. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anything else or are we complete today? Welcome back. You did great. How do you feel? Mm. It's great. You feel good? Yep. Yeah? It's different. It's just like I went on a little journey, mm -hmm. but I was awake. Yeah. How long do you feel Present. you were gone for? Mm. I really don't have a clue. <laughs> we're about an hour and 43 minutes right Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You did great. Thanks. So did you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, is this something that you want to keep private or you want to share? I don't know. Can I watch it of first? Of course. Of course. Yeah. But we did, you did really, really well. Thanks. You got, you had quite a bit of load on you. What did it look like? Oh. It, weight wise, it was like half my weight. That's how I envisioned it when you said it. Yeah. Yeah. In your hands? Yeah. Be sure to get my hands. Mm -hmm. Made a special effort to yeah. put the rocks down, stones mm -hmm. down, yeah. and get my hands because I've just been holding on to that. You don't need to even. What about the part with your dad? What a difference, huh? Uh huh. Mm hmm. And. He was lost. Mm hmm. Yeah. You did fantastic. Thank you.